Okay, everyone, this is our second video where we will go into much more detail about each frame. This is Robert's friend Shelley, who uh, at that time was on the board of the Legion and who arranged for this amazing mural. So I'm going to let her take it away. She's actually going to read the notes from the, I believe they're on actually on Robert's website. But uh, if you do this, then you won't have to take time to read them on the website. So take it away, Shelley. Mm -hmm. And yes, all of this um, information is on the uh, Great Wars mural website. And um, panel one is the Revolutionary War. This panel is a scene from Valley Forge. The left edge begins with George Washington, and that's deliberate as he is the father of our nation. He is looking forward in the direction of the future on purpose. He is also featured in the dark. The scene at Valley Forge was chosen to be at night because what was attempted there was never done before, hence revolutionary, and was done under the cover of night. This was an experiment and groundbreaking. There had never been a nation with this much freedom for the common man on earth before this. Also, the night scene allowed the showcase of the patriotic constellation of Orion, whose brightest stars are blue, white, regal, oh, and red that. Beetlejuice. Wow. Valley Forge is featured in this panel because this is the location where the Continental Army became a force to be reckoned with. The soldiers that are featured by the fire are all focused on this book that plays an interesting role in the mural. At the time, Thomas Paine had just written a pamphlet called The American Crisis, and it's recorded that it was inspirational to the troops at Valley Forge. So that's what this book could be. Frederick von Steuben wrote the very first training manual for the Continental Army, and it's still used today. That book could also be what the men are focusing on. Or this book could also be a Bible. It's up to you. The pages in this book are deliberately left blank so that you, the viewer, can interpret your own meaning. Notice the rifle that is featured. It is historically accurate and is designed to show the transformation of warfare throughout the panels. Um, a little insider information, the tree in this scene is somewhat based on a tree that is tattooed on the shoulder of Robert. Oh, cool. Additionally, one of the soldiers is a ginger, or a redhead, which is deliberately chosen to honor Thomas McPherson, one of Robert's friends who is featured on the very last panel. 